Ah, The Wonders of Harpoon 2, a game that offers you the chance to become at least as confused and harried as commanders are in real life. Yuck, what a mess. You try scrubbing it out, you try soaking it out, and it's still there. Harpoon 2 gives us all these range circles, land boundaries, and 5011 other things to display information, but if you turn them all on, it's chaos. So, first off, let's enter the Preferences menu and turn off everything except what you see here. The only time I turn on weapon or sensor range circles in the formation editor is if I had a pressing need, such as an enemy sub in my formation. Even then, I prefer to use a zoom window that I can center where I want. There now, that's better. Let's go through how to change a threat assignment. Here's our first victim, the Andromeda, currently assigned to anti-surface warfare. To change your assignment, click on the Andromeda, then click on the little triangle thingy in the threat axis you wanted to change to. I've chosen to put her on ASW duty. Now that the ASW axis is active, punch the giant PZ letters at the top of the window. On the screen, click on one of the corners of the area that you wanted to patrol and hold down the left mouse button while dragging the mouse pointer to the opposite corner. For example, if you choose the upper left corner to start the patrol zone, then drag the mouse to the lower right corner. Once you have a patrol zone that's to your liking, let go of the left mouse button. That will bring you to the patrol menu. Since we're assigning the Andromeda to an ASW patrol, select Sprint and drift from the menu and click on OK. There she sits, all shipshape and Bristol fashion. Don't worry about it if you draw a patrol zone you're not happy with. Just go ahead and cancel the dialog box, then click on the PZ icon again and redraw the patrol zone. For aircraft, things work a bit differently if they haven't been launched yet. To set one up, find a ship that has some planes. Any old ship will do. Select the ship, then click on that tiny little airplane symbol. Go ahead and draw a patrol zone like you did before, only you can make it larger, since aircraft can cover larger areas effectively. The only aircraft you should assign to the formation is ASW planes. If you assign any AAW or AEW aircraft to patrol zones in a formation, they will have the same MCON status as the ships do. So you'd have to either leave the formation electronically silent or turn it on and show everything. When you release the mouse button, you'll see this dialog box. For helos, select the dipping sonar, leaving their sauna boys for working a contact. If you have any Sea Kings, Seahawks, or other long-range choppers, use them for ASW patrols and leave those short-range HAS-3 and lamps ready on the deck to prosecute a hot contact. After choosing dipping sonar and hitting OK, choose one or more aircraft to fly in this patrol zone. If you can, pick two birds for every station. That way, you'll have constant coverage. Frankly, those short-range helos suck rocks for long-term ASW work, but they are just the thing to hop over and lob a weapon or two in the water once you find a sub. If you want to change the patrol zone of aircraft already in flight, pick the bird you want and click on that PZ icon again, then draw up a new patrol zone. When the patrol zone is sized to your liking, let go. Don't get too ambitious when setting helo patrol zones. You want them close to the launching ship, and you don't want to make them much larger than twice a ship's zone in order to get a decent coverage. Voila! A somewhat more realistic patrol zone than before. By the way, you can turn the display of threat axes on and off using that weird black icon with a long yellow angle bracket and the small orange box. It ain't pretty, but it does the job. When the computer decides to use an aircraft that you don't want out there, or you need to grab the nearest helo right now to jump on a new sonar contact, there is a way to take control back from the computer. Grab the helo with your mouse. Now, hit the black icon with the two sets of blue circles. If you're successful, you'll see a display like this one and no unit will be selected. If you want to return control of the unit to the computer, hit the CPU button. There, see? No patrol zone is assigned and the helo is available for other duty. If you want to do anything useful with this helo, you should go to a zoom window where the icons will resume their normal function. Fly! Be free! If you need to send the helo back home for refueling, just click on the airplane icon again and pick up the carrier battle group. The helo off to the right in this picture is an AEW Sea King. I set all the AEW Sea Kings I had on an AEW patrol mission using the mission editor. That way I can turn their radar on when they get far enough away from the formation that they won't be a tattletale. Now that we're done, you might want to put the Andromeda back on our anti-surface warfare mission, just to tidy up. As we sail off into the sunset, keep your weapons tight and your thoughts free. Until next time, good luck and good hunting.